What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the level 150 Ao Ming gameplay video that I promised you guys in the recent video where we leveled all three titans to level 150 to find out which one is the best titan in the game. And it turns out that all titans have their own job. They all have their different, their, their own specifications and specialties, right? And uh, check out the channel. You, you'll find it one of the recent videos where we level all three titans to level 150 if you're interested to hear which one does what best. You also see a short sequence of combat for every single one of them. But in this video right here, I want to find out with you how strong is the Ao Ming level 150, okay? Because uh, you've seen the stats in the beginning and you see them again. I'm going to show you the stats in two minutes again, okay? So you don't have to go back. Uh, the stats of the level 150 Ao Ming, it has a ridiculous amount of damage resistance. So um, knowing that, you can even in the flight you have damage resistance. And when you're on the ground, you get even more damage resistance. And see how much damage we can do? Because the Ao Ming does not only have more weapons than the other Titans, with two Alpha weapons and two Beta weapons, having higher stamina firepower itself based on that, it also gets 25% more damage output at level 150. And that's just a given. It's just additional 25% on top of already having more weapons, right? So the damage out... It's just the damage Titan. It's the Titan that does the highest amount of damage, period. The Ao Ming. And if you think this thing is now fragile in return, you'd be mistaken, my friends, because this thing... Look how fast we kill this falcon. It's just us firing on this falcon, by the way. And uh, and look how fast he went down. And, and then we have this insane damage resistance on him, too. In the flight, we get 50 damage resistance points. And on the ground, we get additional 75 damage resistance points, which is not resistance percent. Don't confuse that and say it's 75% resistance. That's not the case. It's somehow different. Pixonic doesn't really explain that very well. What, uh, what, excuse, excuse me, what these damage points or resistance points mean. But it gets 50 altogether in the hull and 75, uh, 75 damage resistance points when it's on the ground, the Ao Ming. Therefore, being able to take a tremendous amount of damage before it goes down. See, I thought I'm ready. It says it looks like the Titan is ready to spawn, but it's not yet. It looks like it's, it's oh, this thing is ready. Tell, don't tell me it's not ready because it looks so ready. So it's not ready yet, it says. Okay, I have to do literally one point of damage before I can... Sh look, look. Okay, boom, Titan ready. I haven't even shot yet, uh, but the Titan is ready. Ugh. Now I could spawn the Titan. But I can't scrap the robot now, so I have to wait for a second. Uh, anyways, with the resistance that the Ao Ming has, you, you'd think with the damage output, it's really fragile. It's not. You're gonna see in a few seconds, three Titans, a Natasha, and an Ares shooting us at the same time. And we're actually using the repair module and we're healing repair. We're healing up rather than dying. <laughs> it's so insane, guys. All right, after this out, uh, invader goes down, you're gonna see this. And uh, but guys, if you like this content and you also wanna also see the best combat uh, of and what what they what all the other titans at level 150 look like and what they can do, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and activate that notification bell with all notifications, same as you see on screen, because we will also get you notified for the upcoming giveaways, right? 200k subscriber special coming up on the channel soon, and uh, I'm trying, I, can't, I have no confirmation yet, but I'm trying to make it so that I might be able to give you guys some titan stuff. Hoping this will work, so hit that notification bell so you get notified when that video goes live and you have the chance to participate. See, right now we have, down there on the ground, we have three titans. Titan there, Titan there, and Titan there. We have an Ares coming around the wall in a few seconds, and in the middle somewhere is a Natasha shooting us. And we're just, while all of them, all five are shooting us down, we're taking out one Titan, then we're taking out the Natasha. All of them are firing at us with everything they got. Natasha is done. Now we take the second Titan out of the game. I'm landing, triggering the additional resistance and healing up. We already got 10,000 HP from the healing. And look at the healing right now. We already got 10,000. And look at this. Boop. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's how much you heal up. Even though they're all firing at us, you can heal up so much HP on the, uh, on the Ao Ming. Because the healing, it says on the stats, is per tick. And it ticks like eight or nine times. And uh, look, all after this, now another outshone, another Titan, and an Hades was there. They were all firing at us, and finally they got us destroyed. Did you see how much the Ao Ming took to, before it died? Jesus! 
Wow, I think the Arthur would have survived a little longer even because of these massive shieldings, but the Arthur wouldn't deal as much damage in return, right? Uh, and this thing, wow. So here again, as promised, the stats, ladies and gentlemen, 50 damage po resistance points just basically, uh, al always, even on the flight. Then 75, uh, 75 additional defense points when you get on the ground. I think it's additional to that. I'm not 100% sure that I think they add up. And then 25% additional damage on, on, on already having more firepower and more, the 10,000 HP per tick repair that you get on this thing, which ticks like eight or nine times or whatever. This is so sick. It's so much power. Woo! Okay, so let's, while we're about to spawn the next Titan, I'm showing you the last combat sequence running up to it. By the way, did you notice that, uh, did you know that I have the, uh, the, another video released on the Paramotor channel? For those who, who like to follow me on that other channel as well, where I'm flying my, 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 uh, paraglider with the, uh, with a, <laughs> with a lawnmower on my back, basically an extra motor with a, a propeller just accelerating me and giving me lift to fly up, then take a look in the upper right corner of the video, ladies and gentlemen, you can, uh, add this now and watch it later if you will uh basically uh it's it's a brand new video that i released on the channel check it out guys if you if you have a few seconds if you have a minute after this video i would really appreciate if you could help me out on that second channel and watch that video you're probably you're probably gonna see that uh like that it's um i'm catching the last sun on the day because i'm flying high up and the sun is you know going down so i'm catching the last sunlight while uh, everyone else is already getting shadows that's really interesting it's a co-op flight with my buddy that we're having so yeah um in the upper right corner is that video guys and uh, let's focus on the gameplay here for a bit you see there's a titan a falcon and he's not even firing at us anymore he's like oh my god i'm not doing any damage to this guy so i may as well shoot somebody else uh and that's what you what you have often with titans right normally people enjoy firing at titans because they can do a lot of damage they thought but once the titans are leveled they get so much resistance that no more you can just take them out in a few seconds. That's not gonna happen anymore. Look how quickly that nemesis dies. Jeez. <laughs> Man. And one more thing, guys. The setup I'm running here is one of the most interesting setups on the Alming, in my opinion. Rocket launchers and the machine guns. Because you know these additional rocket launchers that you can mount instead of the machine guns. The ruptures, as they are called. The, the light rocket launchers. Um, they they reload so slow. It takes forever to freaking reload those ruptures, uh, and therefore you lack you're lacking firepower a lot with these rocket launchers. And these machine guns that we're running right now, what they have basically, they have uh, they reload over uh, uh, for 10, 12 seconds or whatever, and then they come back with full damage output. Something that the ruptures can't. And I feel like this may be the best combination on the Ao Ming. Right now, look, this guy can't even do anything serious to us. We can heal up that damage. Uh, and uh, firing at the, the enemy here. Why am I not healing, by the way? Uh, why am I not healing? So, okay. Now we land. See, the, the weapon is now reloading. After firing, see, I'm going back a little. Now I'm firing empty the rockets. And now I'm uh, the, the machine guns. And now I can land and, and reload. So now the reload is taking process is taking place in the process in the background no matter what I do now so I can just run around walk on the ground have more resistance and I'm reloading the weapon anyways and when the rep weapon is fully reloaded it comes back with 100% clip size and full damage output unlike the rocket launchers that will take forever now I'm finally healing and uh, yeah you see we've gotten like 70 60 70,000 HP back considering we were still being shot at it's a lot more even. And uh, as I said, when w combine that with the resistance you have on the robot, the damage that they, you get from the repair is actually more. Let's say you heal 80,000 HP. We can tell right here, okay? How much do we heal? Hold on. So we have 230. Okay, 230. And now it's 310. So it's 80,000 health. You get 80,000 health from the repair module. And... Uh, uh, or, or not module from the built-in repair ability that the robot has and keep in mind these 80,000 when the enemy wants to kill you It's they actually have to do like 120,000 or 150,000 maybe it depends on how much if you're standing on the ground They probably have to do 160 or 150,000 because you have so much resistance, right? So you heal 80,000, but they have to do 120 or 150 to break those 80,000 again because of the resistance you have so that's really, really crazy. And uh, 
it was too much in the end. They had another Titan and then they had another Auchon and they had the Ares or whatever it was. Uh, I'm not sure. Inquisitor. Uh, and now I'm just flying in, taking revenge, killing all of those guys uh, in one go. And then even taking the respawned Ares here with a shield break. And by the way, I, I'm not crazy. It does play the sound when you activate the shield break. Activating shield break, play, uh, break listen to the sound. Doing it again. It's, it's playing the Titan sound. Why is it playing the Titan sound when you activate the shield break? I don't get it. It's so weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we've done 4 million damage with the Ao Ming, ladies and gentlemen. That is a lot of damage. That is really a lot of damage output that we've done. So let's jump into, on the same map, uh, in a different match, jumping into the next Titan immediately. You see this Kid Titan right there is already leveled. You see he's taking a lot less damage than the other Titans normally do. Uh, but he's also running his action mode, or whatever the thing is called, where he's basically uh, having massive damage resistance. Now, I'm not, I'm not even actually activating flight, because I know there are so many things shooting us right now. So what I do, I just repair my HP, activating the repair module here, repairing back up the HP, and I'm staying in the resistance mode. So I have this Titan and the other guy shooting me at the same time, and I'm barely taking any damage, because uh, with so much resistance, 50 plus 75 uh, resistance points or whatever, um, that's a lot of resistance, and it's very hard to take this thing down when it's standing on the ground like this. And you can still shoot with two alpha weapons, so two heavy weapons at the same time. That's a really interesting thing. I also ran this with the machine guns as alpha weapons. It's even more damage output altogether, but you don't have this massive one hit potential. And I like this one hit. And basically you do a lot of damage continuously with the rockets, and you never really have to have a long reload. You only reload these five seconds and boom, another big hit. Reload, boom, another big hit. And uh, the machine guns may do more damage at first, but then they have their reload, so I'm not sure which one are altogether better here. I know that the small machine guns are better than the small rocket launchers, that's for sure. Look at this Haichi, look, boom, boom, bam, bam. <laughs> and now let's, let's just shoot one more time and turn away and know he's gonna die. <laughs> With this much splash damage, you, you know you're gonna hit. So, and there is another Falcon spawned here. It's not a T-Falcon, because he's got the Redeemers on the other side hanging down. So, somebody who's got this this expensive weapons or good good weapons, I don't think it's, uh, it's a T-Falcon. Boom. And here's a little bug. You see this? We fire at the Auchun, and he's not taking any damage from the rockets. Only a little bit of damage from the machine guns that we're still firing, but that's it. And so, Pixonic, there is a buck with a rocket launcher. Sometimes it didn't doesn't hit, but very rarely. Usually it hits. It was just a rare, rare occurrence here. See, and this is how it looks like when we hit. Boom! <laughs> it's very obvious that we hit this time, right? So, let's see what they spawn in. We have 500,000 HP. They have an Ares and a, uh, and a Falcon. And uh, after they get our Nemesis, they are turning on us. And the Ares is now shooting us with all his built-in weapons and lasers. Uh, and he hit us with everything he had there. Uh, but let's get that down the Ares. Boop. We have so much resistance and HP. Now let's focus down the Falcon first, because he's the other one is in last stand. And the Falcon has dropped his resistance. And meanwhile, the Ares got taken out by our team. A full Kit Titan spawns in front of us. And he's firing at us with everything he has. And I'm just gonna stand on the ground having full damage resistance and uh, and enjoy my healing. And I have more HP now that he's done after I had when he spawned. Imagine this with a healing. It's so crazy, man. And now we're we're absolutely punishing the next t t Titan down there too with all firepower from all weapons. The ro the rupture rockets would not deal any real damage now because they would be reloading, and these things are fully level fully available with all their firepower, man. It's so crazy. That's really an interesting setup here. These, I think it may become my favorite here with the rockets and the additional uh, machine guns. You're gonna try and keep your resistance running, not fire at the enemy. Again, 4 million damage. Jeez. Alright, here, jumping into the next match. This is what this was only half the video so far. This is how much Titan gameplay I'm gonna give you. See that, guys? And that's not even... I'm not even showing and wasting your time showing you some, you know, combat where uh, I spawn and I take the first beacon and then we're walking around. No. 
I'm just gonna show you the last sequence that led to the Titan spawn, and that's it, okay? So, we're short, we can already spawn it, but there is a thing. First off, somebody in the comments let me know, you can actually use this button here to the left, in the upper left corner. You can press that and you can spawn your Titan directly, without having to go on menu, change spot, and then, right? And then, but there is another feature that I want to show you. Right now, you see, the Titan is not glowing green. It's, it's just very weak green. That means that the Titan is ready, but I cannot scrap my robot, because the robot is on, scrapping robot is on cooldown. I need to wait another 10 seconds, and only then I could scrap my robot and insta-spawn the Titan. And uh, when I can do that, it will look like this, see? Now I could, while, while standing in my robot, I could press that button and insta-spawn the Titan immediately where I want to. It saves you two clicks or two taps, and it also lets you know that you can either spawn a scrap your robot or you cannot scrap your robot right now, because there's a cooldown on it still. I only just figured this out while watching my own video, get that. And also from reading the comments. So, um, now we're here in the Ao Ming with the lasers. Fully leveled, level 25 gendarme, gendarme and uh, cuirassier, or cuirassier here, uh, the full lasers on the Ao Ming. I don't need to land here because I'm out of his range. He's got 500 meters range, I've got 600 meters, so I can just fly away from him and wait for him to use, to lose his, uh, his, you know. Now he has no more resistance running or very little resistance, but I'm focusing down this guy first because he's coming closer. I'm triggering a landing where I know I'm safe, look. I triggered a landing where I know I can have cover in front of me. This guy, this guy can't shoot me because I'm having cover and to the left you see the resistance icon is there. I'm having even more resistance now during the uh, standing on the ground part. I'm waiting for it, waiting for it and then I'm stealing the kill. Boom! Now this guy, I could shoot him now, but you see he's firing back with his big middle alpha weapon. And when the kid does that, it means he has additional resistance, his his full action mode or whatever. Now his resistance is gone because he just folded back the heavy weapon. Now I can come up and deal much more damage to him than I would have done before. So this is the best time to attack the kid. You get less damage in return because he has less weapons firing at you and he doesn't have the resistance. And there is the other Titan. And see, we can just stay out of their range. They got 600, 500 meters, we have, we have 600. I'm landing on the ground here, activating healing. And this, this kid Titan just doesn't stand the slightest chance. Look how little damage he's doing to us, even with all his weapons right there. It's just next to no damage. And now after his resistance is gone, I'm unloading my entire Eclipse. And there goes the kid. The Auming is such a, ba such a beast. And the kit is very vulnerable after his resistance mode is gone. And that's something that the Ao Ming can expose or, you know, use very well. Alright, so let's jump into another match. <laughs> Immediately, you're uh, just doing the last few things. You see, we already have Titan ready. We just can't spawn on it, uh, on it now because we have the, the scrap cooldown 14 seconds. See that? Just showing this quickly. That's why it's not growing glowing green. Uh, but now it is. Now we could spawn, uh, the Kit Titan. Uh, sorry, the, uh, Ao Ming. And we're doing this right now. Trying to steal that kill, it didn't work. Okay, but we have this guy here. 500 meters range, that means I'm just gonna fly a few, me few meters back. And his entire weapons mode is not gonna work. This guy there, uh, okay, he's not coming around the corner, unfortunately. I'm not firing empty my weapons, because right now I would waste my fire into his resistance. Now I can start firing. Look at this. Now he's taking the full damage because his resistance is done. Unfortunately though, he walks around the corner and I can't finish him off. The other guy is gonna get the kill. But that's not too bad because we're already first. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the opportunity to kill him. Alright, we're landing. We're on the ground. There comes the, uh, the, the Lancelot. Pushing away the, um, the enemy here. And from up here, I can just steal that kill. Boom. So, where are they gonna respawn? Ah, to the right. What is it? Okay, it's, uh, I'm not sure what it is. I'm acting like I'm firing at something else. See that? So that he comes out. And there he is! He fell for it! He thought I'm acti actually firing at something else. And look at this entire Blitz robot getting completely destroyed. We killed his full shield and we killed his robot afterwards with one salvo. That's so crazy how much damage output this is. I'm landing on the ground now, trying to make sure I'm not getting hit by the shield 
a build-in shield mode uh, or abilities here of the Ares. And then I'm flying up and boom, taking the enemy, the second placed enemy again out. And now I'm just flying over the uh, air, uh, over the Lancelot because from up here I can ignore his f physical shields. I can shoot on top of his head, ignore his physical shield completely from up here. And that's uh, the best way to take out this Lancelot right there. So yeah, guys, do you like this video here with all the Titan gameplay? And sh do you want to see all the other Titans as well? Where I show you the kit with level 150 max and where I show you the Arthur also with his massive physical shields. Uh, then, uh, yo, stay tuned on the channel, subscribe. I think these other videos may already be released. You might be able to check back and uh, at the end screen of the video. You can probably choose one of those. Um, and, uh, yeah. And also, if you like, guys, as I said, if you have a few extra minutes for me to spare, take a look at the upper right corner and, uh, and, uh, and look at that, um, that paramotor video on that other channel that I'm doing. There's a lot of work that goes into these videos. More work even that, that I need to put into the War Robots videos. So, um, I'm really, it would be really cool to have you guys enjoy that as well, if you do enjoy paramotor content. So, another Titan. We had two Titans co coming at us at the same time. So, th since this guy had his resistance mode running, I'm just landing. I'm waiting, regenerating my healing. And now that his resistance mode is gone, he has less firepower, less resistance, and he is an easy kill. And this one Titan has just completely obliterated so many Titans on this battlefield and taken out every robot on that came at us. They, these people are used to firing at titans and killing them quickly because titans usually aren't well leveled yet uh, But this one is and uh, it takes a long time to think kill them five million damage by the way Jeez And just so you know guys this account right here with a level map with the max level titans This isn't my account right in case you're wondering how in the world I I managed to uh, to acquire that much platinum this is a, an account that belongs to Pixonic, and I'm using it to make these reviews with you guys, right? So I can provide you guys with some uh, nice gameplay and testing all these Titans in max level. Because maybe it helps you guys make a decision which one you want to upgrade, right? If you can see them how they do uh, in max level, then you know which one of those might, you might want to spend your Platinum in that you have uh, acquired. And because I feel like with how hard it is to acquire Platinum right now, um, you know, knowing where to put it is probably really important. <clears throat> and also, uh, I'm hoping that Pixonic is going to add more ways to get Platinum at the end of the match or something. That's some. That's a feedback I already sent into Pix. I'm hoping they are going to listen to it and, you know, add this feature for us to, to earn Platinum through killing Titans, through playing matches and all that. That would be good. So we have an active, actual income for it, right? So here is uh, the last match on Carrier, and one more thing I want to test now is soon is flying above the ocean and firing at the enemies from way away, uh, way far away. I should have done that here. I'm, I'm, uh, I wish I had done it. I just fly. It, I don't have to stand here. Uh, I could just fly over the ocean. Sure, I could not land there anymore, uh, but I don't need to land. I can just, uh, you know, I could just fly there and and stay out of range of the enemy, right, with a 600 meter range there. That's really interesting, and I uh, and I could have a, a very interesting perspective on the battlefield from firing from the ocean. Only the Ao Ming can do this. We're gonna do this in another video coming up soon. I play in Carrier very often anyway, so let's do this in the next video, guys. Godlike, already on Godlike here, guys. The in Inquisitor notices he's being fired upon by a Titan, so he he instantly wants to get him back in safety. Um, no, it's a, oh, it's not an Inquisitor, it's a, a Leo. I'm not firing at the Leo. Let somebody else do the Leo. I'm just gonna go for the other targets instead. Poor Leo. No jump, no stealth, no shield, no resistance, nothing. Just an old outdated robot with a decent amount of health that anybody is, enjoys taking out because you can do so much damage against it. Why does the Leo not get resistance? It should, it should get resistance. So. Okay, uh, this guy's hiding back there. Ah, the Lancelot got taken out. And then we have two Titans. Okay, so you know how easily we can kill Titans, right? Because we have 600 meters range and they have 500. So we just stay out of their reach and we just shoot them down from up here. And as long as his resistance mode is down, I may as well just make use of it and do as much damage as we can. Let's finish him off and try and get that Titan kill. Titan Slayer. Titan Slayer. 
And that should that should give you 10 platinum. Killing a titan should get you 10 platinum all the time. That would be good. You can only spawn one titan, so you can't really farm platinum because of this. Because there's only so much titans that you can take out. And it will give you a reward, right? You destroy the titan so you can scrap some of his platinum away and use it for your own titan. That would make sense, wouldn't it? It would be cool. I would like that. Uh, but it would maybe lead to very, very frustrating titan play if everyone knows, Oh, there's a titan, I must kill it. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe maybe people would just destroy every titan is second day spawn. But that's, again, um, a titan has so much health and resistance, it, it might be useful to have your friends shoot, uh, or the enemies shoot titans instead of uh, the vulnerable robots, right? Alright, let's wait for his resistance to go away. Once the resistance is gone, Ah, uh, he's taking damage so much right now. I'm gonna start shooting here. So this guy, ah, oh, and he just brings up the resistance. You gotta be kidding me, dude. All right, we can bring him down anyways. Because he's not safe from this Titan. He's safe from the other players that he can shoot over, but not from this Ao Ming flying so high up in the skies. So yeah, how much damage? 3.3 million. That was the video with the Titan, uh, with the Ao Ming, showing even two different setups here. I showed the energy laser gendarme and... Uh, and the Kuras Kura seal, and uh, and we also seen this setup, which which may may actually be my favorite. Although the the energy weapons might be more powerful overall, I really like these massive rocket launchers, and combining it with the machine guns is a really cool thing. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye.